My name is Bryce Allen, and I did my presentation on Julia Margaret Cameron. She's a Britain-born photographer who was born in the year of 1815. The quote I chose for her is by Malcolm Daniel, Department of Photographs, the Metropolitan Museum of Art. It states, Seen with historical perspective, it is clear that Cameron possessed an extraordinary ability to imbue her photographs with a powerful spiritual content. The quality that separates them from the products of commercial portraits stu studios of her time. I chose this because it really explains her photographs to me in a really, really depth in-depth way. And this makes me, this is how I understand her photographs. She was born in 1815 in uh, Britain. She was educated in England and France, uh, both places. In 1838, she married Charles Hay Cameron, her husband, obviously. She had six children. She learned photography because her husband gave her a camera for a special occasion, which was her birthday, or their anniversary, I'm sorry. Um, she gave her, so she's a self-taught uh, ph photographer. At the age of 64, in 1879, she passed away. Her career was quite interesting because she's a self-taught photographer, and she became a photographer in 1864. Uh, the type of photographer she shot was celebrity photos, Arthurian subject, and heroic themes. At the age of 48 was when she received her first camera from her husband. Her photos were not accepted at the time because of the soft focus she did to manipulate the wet collodion process. Um, which she did to kind of give her photos an art sense. In the year 1869, she published her big uh, album, The Norman Album. Here are a few photographs I chose. I chose this photograph just because it's really important because of the subject, uh, Sir John Herschel. I like this photograph because it first off shows what type of photograph she did, which was a lot of portraits. So this is one kind of, it looks super older, but it's obviously older but it's not too bad another one is Philip Stanhope Worsley in 1866 all of her photographs were albumin, albumin silver print from glass negatives uh, this is just another portrait she chose um, or took another one is Zoe made of Athens I like this one because uh, a lot of her photos are portraits and like heroic themes and Arthurian themes and this one is just like a maid instead of like a professional uh, king or sir not that she's just a maid but you know what I mean this is the mountain nymph sweet liberty another albumin silver print from glass negatives this one I like because it's no one too uh, famous or anything like that um, another one is uh, the Sappho I like this one because you see kind of royalty in this picture and um, all of her pictures so somewhat show that, but not all. Another photo I picked was Julia Jackson. This photo I picked because it is my favorite of her, of Julia Margaret Cameron's photographs. I like this one because on the left side, you see kind of dimmer, and you can't really see her half her head. And on the right side, you see all of it, and it kind of, kind of portrays a really cool, cool subject and photograph. This is Vivian in Merlin. This is another one of my favorite photographs because of the um, what's it, the frame around the photograph. It's kind of kind of cool for the time, and not a lot of her pictures had this, but some of them did. For example, this one. So yeah, that, uh, it just gives the photo like a cool context and color. Another photo with that uh, frame around it is this one, the turtle doves, also known as the European doves. This photo is one of my favorites of hers also, just because um, it's not very normal of her. She does a lot of photography of adults and teenagers and not a lot of children. As she did here, um, were two children, as she later phot photographs. Also was Charles Hay Cameron, which is her husband. I think it's cool just because she got a photo photog photograph her husband and just kind of show her photography to him and like, it's interesting because he's the one who first gave her the camera and started this whole thing. 
Here we see Paul in Virginia. This is my other photograph because as the earlier one, like this, as this one, they are two children just being children and like just look up for a photograph and it's there. So this one is one of my favorites also. This is the parting of Sir Lancelot and Queen uh, and the Queen. This one um, is cool because of the frame around the outside. Also shows like a super cool um, part. It kind of gives it like that soft focus with the wet collodion process she did. Um, a lot of people like this one just because it's royalty and you don't often see royalty sad. Another photo is the passing of King Arthur. This one also the same as the previous one, uh, the parting of Sir Lancelot. But this one is also um, royalty and he's also sad obviously because uh, King Arthur passed away. And you don't see, like I said, royalty often sad. This was Henry Herschel K Hay Cameron. I found this one interesting because it's another one of her families that she photo photog photographed, I'm sorry. And you don't often see people f photograph their family um, in ways like this as she did. Another one is my Ewan's Bride. I found this one interesting because of the soft focus um, as she did the wet collodion process. And it's just interesting because like all the other ones, she's not really ready for the photo, but she is at the same time. Uh, this one is GF Watts. I found this one interesting just because I like GF Watts. He's like really cool, just like his his person and his manner. Also like his beard. This one is Magdalene, also known as Brookfield. This one's cool because you see a bit of royalty, but also like um, just a child being a child. This one is one of my favorites also because of the context and the wet collodion process she did to get the soft focus. Um, this is Gareth and Lynette. Uh, this is one of her well-known ones. Uh, this one is May Princep. This one is kind of, it's not my favorite, but it's not my worst favorite because of the soft focus and how the texture and context is. Um, it's just odd different than the other ones another one is the rosebud garden of girls i found this one really interesting because she often only pho photographs two two one or two people and this one she photographs four women in a in a garden this one also is more than two uh, subjects uh, this is the whisper of muse portrait of gf uh, watts this one also i like is because gf watts is in this one again and there's more than two people in the f photograph and um, I like the ones. The significance of her, she's a self-taught photographer, uh, as her husband got her f camera, as I said. She has a, she had a strong female photographer in her era, one of few female photographers. Her first was first, her work was first not accepted at her time because of the wet collodion process she did to create the soft focus. Um, it wasn't until later when her photographs got accepted as an art due to the soft focus.